What's up guys and welcome to the corner of my house. Guys, it's crazy today. The wind is just blowing something nuts. It just rained, so that's why I'm gearing up and baiting up to try to catch some catfish. The water level in the river is going up a lot, but now you can tell that it's just it's just clear. Like the next three days are going to be sunny. They're gonna be chilly, but the water level most importantly is gonna be up there. It's gonna be a good time for us to try to go catch these fish. Uh, right now I'm just starting off, like I said, in the corner of the house it just rained so i'm going to be looking for worms and then worms will turn into brim and brim will turn into catfish i'm uh i'm not too sure how well y'all can see that but the wind in the trees is just something ferocious i think they say it's blowing up to like 30 miles an hour and of course right now when i turn the gopro on they all just want to calm down a little bit oh trash can just moved. <laughs> all right, all right, y'all probably done. Seen enough of the trees right now. Let's go back to catching bait. Jeez. So like after it rains, the worms are in the ground, right? even before it rains. But the worms are in the ground, the rain comes, kind of pushes the worms out of their holes. So now they should be on a higher level of the ground, so they should be much easier to access and find. Oh. Uh, there we go. Oh my goodness gracious, look at all these worms. Well, that's gonna be one and done. All right, that's what we got. I wouldn't really imagine we're gonna need more than that. I might pick up a few more just in case because there may be a few people fishing with me this time. But we're gonna get some more worms and then we will head to the brim spot, a little panfish area. Yep. Keep the bait safe. Nice. All right, you know what I forgot? Damn it. Nice. Guys, I've been on the road for over an hour and a half. Something with the wind, I don't know what happened on 295, but 295 got completely shut down. So this, <laughs> this voyage to catch some panfish is taking a lot longer than I expected. We're getting there. All right guys, after a few hours of grueling driving around in a big circle, I finally made it to Dory Park. It's windy as hell, but again, I'm just here to get bait. Uh, there's some geese here, and I see another guy fishing. But we're gonna get out there. I'm gonna fish over here at the little dock thing. I know there's some bluegill and stuff that hang around those pylons, so I'm gonna see if I can't go ahead and get some bait knocked out. And good luck hearing me. I hope I don't try to say anything out there because the wind is blowing so bad, it's just gonna sound like <laughs> So yeah, the whole bait thing didn't really work out. So we have a different bait on the menu. This is an eel, very lively. We're gonna actually just use them as cut bait. I wanted to get this video started off on this note. Public service announcement that yes, there is a lot of fishing spots in Richmond, but if you're gonna fish it, it'd be a good idea to keep it clean. Like just pick up after yourself because I mean, it, it can be very easily, or very easy for them to just say you can't fish here anymore and then just put no fishing signs. So there's a lot of trash here that we are going to be picking up. Before we get this video started, do our little act of goodness. We're gonna get the fishing spot picked up. We're gonna get baits on the hook. We can do that, get the lines in the water, see if we can't get ourselves some catfish. That's not a bad bag of trash there. So for this spot, 
I'm using a fish finder rig, eight ounce weight, and a big, I think it's a size 10 or whatever, uh, VMC hook. Don't really know how it's still moving since he's been cut into a bunch of pieces. I guess it's good that he'll be squirming around there a little bit. Eight ounce is not really necessary where we're fishing. If you fish out past like the break, the water's really ripping. So, I mean, you're, I fished out there and like 12 ounces don't even hold. The reason I'm using the eight ounce is just because that's what will get the bait where I want it to be on this rod. On the other rod, I'll show you in a second, I'm just using three ounce and I'm putting it where the water's a little bit calm right behind, it's kind of like a sandbar. But those are really the areas where they've been producing a lot more fish. So I'm gonna get this one out there, set the drag and wait for fish. So hopefully y'all can hear me over this ship lock mechanism, but like right out there, river is moving from back there, coming straight down to here. So this is like a calm like pool, I guess you could call it. The water's moving really fast right here. And there's like a sandbar that goes from all the way over here, all the way across. So ideally I put my bait in the moving water right behind the sandbar. Don't get me wrong. You can still catch fish here. I've seen it happen plenty of times. That's where I prefer. There's no right or wrong. I mean, as long as you got a bait in the water, you're catfishing. Ideally, I like to put mine over that little sandbar, if you will, and have the bait kind of moving around in the current back out there. This is the spinning setup that I got. I got I'm running braid on this one. Again, this is just a three ounce weight. I don't have pyramids. Pyramids will hold a little bit better. Where I'm gonna be casting it, I'm gonna cast this kind of like in front of the sandbar. So it's really like calm water. It shouldn't move too much. Again, I got the eel. This is a bit smaller of a hook. You know, it's what I'm using today. I mean, this spot is super cool. It's, it's actually a park. People fish here all the time. And right now it's not as busy because it's not really spring yet. When it's spring, I'm telling you, like this 15, 20 people fishing this small little area. And you can imagine that it gets very overloaded with rods and just, uh, it just, it gets nuts. I mean, I've seen people in this little area right here. There, I've seen people fish in here and catch fish but it's a it's very interesting you got this area this little pool that's coming from the river up here blocks up in here they have the wall that controls the height of the water inside of here i guess i don't i don't actually i don't even know but anyway that's the marker it says four feet a little bit below four feet yesterday or three days ago it was at 12. so it's not as high as i would like it to be but it is still very much fishable and that's why we're out here so we had a guy that was fishing somewhere over there on the point caught a few of these it was nice enough to let us have them because he was leaving we prefer this over eel so we're gonna go ahead and put this out there all right well now this this is this is a proper bait i think this is the one that's gonna get the monster for the day came off can't tell oh i think he did guys we didn't even they stuck I, I just put my bait in we didn't even do the intro for this day i was baiting up my other reel and i already got hit but i think he snagged me up we had to for sure run but now it's stuck up obviously we changed fishing spot we weren't getting anything at the last spot i fished there for like three days straight so we're trying out here i'm using all conventional stuff here with andrew and i think i'm snagged so i'm gonna get this fixed get the bait back out there talk to y'all in a second so we have the bait back in the water i was snagged up i did have a fish promise you that but i brought this so i remember that last time I used the spinning setup, I wanted to go ahead and try it with a conventional. I've never put braid on a conventional reel before, so it's all new, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. I tried to put it out there in the water and it's just not going into the current to where I need it to. I can't reach it because you can't cast a 30 inch pole that well. Right now I got the 12 footer out there. Andrew's got his bottom fishing out there as well. So we're just gonna hang tight out here and wait for another run, hopefully get a fish. I just wanna catch a fish. I've only caught two fish this year, which was 50 pound blue cat and the bait that was used to catch that 50 pound blue cat. Check out that video below. But yeah, I'm gonna sit back, relax, and wait for a little while and wait for that clicker to go off. Andrew is on his third fish. I still haven't got one yet. But then again, I am drifting full eels, live eels. I'm giving myself an excuse. But he's got three so far. I'm sure he's gonna make a video out of it. So make sure you check out his channel after you're done checking out mine. But yeah, still waiting. I'm still waiting. He's still, he's, he's, he's happy. Oh, 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 he's going. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got one. Oh, he's splashing out there. Yeah, oh, he, oh. No, he's still there. on there. I think you should he go was, to the. He's shaking his head a little bit. What? Right side of my rod. Little buddy. Little buddy. We're on him, guys. Well, I'm finally on him. Just keeping the tension on the line. He's in a. He's in a pool, so it's not very hard to fight him right now. He hit on a gizzard chat chunk. What's your guess, Andrew? Uh, Ten pounds. Eight. 
Ain't. I mean, I gotta see the fish first. Oh, you gotta bring him through that bush. We're bushing him. That is the power of what? 20 pound mono. Hey, you got your trunk back. Yeah, I'll give that an eight. No, he's 10. You think he's done? All right, we'll weigh he's him. He's 10. We'll weigh him. Ah, oh, God, he's got my thumb. Look, look. Oof. Oh, oh, oh. 8.37 ish. Huh. All right, quick release. And I'm only throwing them because it's very slippery. We've already slipped like 10 times over here, as you can see. But it's real deep over here, so. Oh! He's all right. It's, it's a fish It lives in the water. It does stuff like that. Third fish of the year for me, catfish eight pounder. I just, I really just, I mean, it's been a while. I've been obviously fishing. It's just been rough. I haven't really been able to catch much, but I wanted to get a video out before spring really sprungs springs around the corner and the shad striper all that stuff whole bunch more content whole bunch more fish i'm excited but i'm gonna keep fishing here and see if we can't pull out some more cats all right we're ready Woo! all right he's catching up that one had a little bit better run how's it feel it feels like it's on a rock, but it, it feels all right. That one's on the eel. Yeah, I have a little piece of an eel head on here. Probably got about seven pounds of drag on it right now, but he's not, he's he's small. I'm feeling he gave up. Like fighting a fish this size on this rod is just like too much work. It's fun, it's always fun. But if you just want him to, you want to give him a chance to go run or something, give you a little fight, he's just not, do it, do it. All right, let's see if we can get him in right here. Oh, that's not a bad fish, dude. Is it really? That's not a bad fish. Oh, he's going. Oh, you just. You think it's the biggest one of the day? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that, that's a. Uh, 15. 15. 15. Yeah, 15. 16. 16. <laughs> 16. Yeah, 16. And that's my final. My second fish, Andrew's got three. Biggest one for the day for us. We're gonna get a weight on him real quick. Throw him back into the water. Wait, what's your guess? 18. Oh! 22. 22? Yeah, 22. We were both off. Cause I don't know, I was looking at him, he kinda looks like a 20. But he's so stocky. See that? Me and him look, we're in the same boat. <laughs> 10 out of 10 dive. Yes. All right, that just about wraps it up. Still got a little bit of daylight left, so we're still gonna continue to fish. Decent day, the bite kind of slowed up probably about an hour ago. Yeah. Hour, hour or so ago. Biggest one was 22 pounds, and that was the last one that we caught. Like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna have a lot more stuff coming up. Different species, different river fish, a whole bunch of, it's, it's gonna be a completely different river here in less than a month. So stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one. Wait, 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 we're not done yet. Got some bait left over, so I'm gonna bring a little friend of mine to hopefully get on his first blue catfish. This is Cameron. Hi. How many fish do you wanna catch? Two? Well, we're back out here. I don't wanna get tired. All right, he's not gonna get tired, but we're gonna get him a blue catfish and then be done with this video. Go, go, go. Real, 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 real. Hey, there you go. Here you go. All right, now look, look, look. Tighten the drag a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. A little bit more. There you go. Pull him in. Pull him in, boy. Go, Pull him in, boy. Go fast. Go help him, Wes. I mean, don't help him, but just cheer him on. Go, Ken. Go, Ken. Go. Help him hold the rod. Pick it up. Yep. Rod tip up. There you go. I can't really. No, no. Keep going. You got it, buddy. You got it. We're going we're gonna to let him do it. You want a big fish? You got it, boy. You want a big fish? It's your, it's your time to shine, sir. It is your time to shine. How big does it feel? Big. Real big? Yeah. All right, good job. Yep, pull up, pull up. Yeah, and then reel down. Yep, good job. Now pull up. Yep, and then as you put the rod pick that down, you reel down. Perfect, Cameron. Yes, sir. All right, tighten that drag just a little bit. There you go. Yep, that's good. Oh, man. All right. Here, come under this rod. Perfect. Good job. Tight, 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 tight. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang boy, how big is that fish? It's a monster. You got it. Keep going. Reel down. Good job. Oh. Oh, this is a good one! Cameron, we both got fish, boy! 
We both got fish! Keep going, keep going. Alright, reel down. Reel down and then roll the, pull the rock tip up. There you go, perfect. On too. Baby, get in here. I want to get a picture of both y'all. With it in. Hurry. Here, here. Oh. Baby, I want to get a picture of both y'all. How long is this catfish okay for? It's, it's fine. Dude, he can, that is a fat one. I know, Cameron. Oh my god. Hi. No, 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 leave it. He'll get it. Let him get his. I just want to be better. Really just to eat that. But it might be a little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter, buddy. We're going to run the same thing. When you're done, I'm going to your house. Oh my house. gosh. This one's big. This has gotta be this has gotta be at least 30 pounds. Oh that's a nice fish. <gasps> oh I saw it! Alright, the reason why I'm not reeling it in is because there's all this trees and stuff. We're trying to get him to swim back this way. Oh my god, that's big huge back. I'm gonna see if I can see Come back around, babe. Alright, this is right this is right where we need him. Right where we need him. So what was the biggest fish you've ever caught before that? Catfish! What was it? A channel catfish. A channel catfish, all right. And how, how did that one fight? Like, like a 78-pounder. <laughs> 78 78-pounder? Did it fight harder than you thought it was going to? Yeah. Is that your first fish that was over, like, 5 pounds? Yeah. Thank you for watching the video. And please watch. Um, please stay tuned for another video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Good job with your catfish, Cameron. Good job for being Wes, Wes. Yeah.